Hi guys, I'm Finn. I mean gay. I mean Finn. And welcome back to Sa Game. Uh, the show where I talk about uh, gay shit. Can I say that this early? I think I could say that this early. Uh, I talk about gay stuff during this show because it's Pride Month. Woohoo. Uh, for those who don't know, I'm a little, I'm a little, I'm a little trans lady. I know I don't look it right now because I'm wearing just a regular t-shirt and my hair's short and I have facial hair. But I'm, I'm a trans girl, I promise. I'm so pretty. Someone please. But today's episode is about that. We're talking about trans issues. My trans issues, damn it. It's time to talk about it. So, uh, to start, uh, a little bit of context. I live in Arkansas, which is probably the most southern, like the most, it's not like physically the most southern, but it's probably the most stereotypically southern area. Uh, in America, uh, to give a quick example, um, the most racist city on the planet, uh, is like an hour from where I am right now, uh, and is run by the KKK. So that's, uh, a thing. But yeah, everyone around me is super religious. And I mean, like, everybody. The, I used to work at McDonald's here, and there was two people that worked with me that weren't Christian. Two out of the, like, 90 people that work there. So, it's very hard to be openly queer or trans or even just an ally here. Uh, so it's a little bit difficult. It's also hard to be open about that stuff and be myself when my family is so against it. Because my family is not good people. Uh, they hate black people. Uh, simply for existing. Uh, they are all extremely sexist, including the women. The women themselves think that women are less than men. It's weird. Uh, alongside that uh, is the issue of their genuine hatred uh, towards anything queer. Uh, one time I came home from school. At this point I'm like nine, maybe ten, and I made a gay joke. And they were like, excuse you? And then they went on like an hour-long rant about how it's terrible. Uh, and at this point, I'm 10. So I have no clue what any of this means. I'm just talking. And I made a joke, because I've always... I've been making gay jokes since I was like fucking seven. Uh, and they were on this rant, and then they told me that even being friendly uh, with gay people would get me sent to hell. So, that's... That's fun. And, uh... So that's, an, that's a thing that happened, um, and that was, that was just over me making a gay joke. Um, then in middle school, I made a lot more gay jokes, because I didn't care. Uh, halfway out of middle school, I realized that I myself am not religious. Um, I'm not necessarily an atheist, because I don't know if there's a god or not. But I don't care if there is. Like, if bro exists, I feel like he doesn't care about us. You know what I'm saying? Like, if, if bro has infinite power and created everything, I don't think he gives a shit what some weird human thinks about him. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but I realized that. And then about a year after that, I'm in freshman year of high school, and I realized, oh shit, I might like dudes a little bit. Uh... And then I experimented with that. Turned out, I don't like dudes. I just like being treated like a woman. Uh, and then I realized sometime after that, I was like, oh, I'm trans, but I'm not going to tell anybody because I live in the South and I will genuinely die. Um, so then I didn't tell people. And the few people I did talk to about it, I just told them like I had weird issues like with gender. Uh, like my best friend, who I told I was gender fluid for like three years, simply so that I couldn't, just so that I wouldn't say that I'm a woman. Um, that's not because of him. He's incredibly accepting. Uh, and has been the most helpful person in my transition. So shout out to him. His channel will be in the description. I love you, Amadon. You're amazing. Uh, but... Uh, I finally opened up to him about it, and 
anytime I've been in a relationship with a partner, I'm open with them about it. Um, but other than that, nobody knows. Uh, my family doesn't know. None of my friends know. Uh, and that's because I'm, I'm not necessarily simply embarrassed. I'm genuinely terrified with the family part. Uh, because my dad, who has never been a part of my life, uh, and randomly decided to show up and be an asshole, um, while he was in prison, uh, a guy flirted with him, and he broke the guy's jaw. Um, and that's kind of scary, that my dad would do that to a man for simply flirting, uh, when I myself am a little, a little, a little tranny. Sorry if I'm super sweaty. It's 100 degrees out here. It's extremely hot. <laughs> and humid. Uh, so I don't tell my family. Because I'm afraid of being ostracized. Being uh, kicked out. I'm an adult now, so they can do that. Afraid of being forced into like a conversion camp. Uh, which we have a lot of here, actually. There was one set up in my high school. Which is fucking, that was fun uh, to have to deal with. Um, there's a lot of stuff like that. Um, but yeah, that's terrifying. And then being open with, with, with like Amadin, my bestie, and with my, with my partner and stuff, I, it's helpful. And it makes me so happy to have somebody who cares, multiple people. Um, but it's still kind of scary that I can't tell my family and the worst part is when I finally open up about it will be after I after I move uh, because I sure as hell ain't telling them while I'm here because uh, I don't want to be homeless again that sucked I was a tiny child then so I don't remember a whole lot of it but I know it sucked um, but um, the worst part is when I do come out about it and I do talk about it and I do try to actually transition, uh, which I'm still kind of lost on. I don't know what I want from it. I think I just want, I think I just want to go on like estrogen. I don't think I want like surgeries and stuff, but, uh, but because of where I live in Arkansas, that stuff is almost impossible to get. Uh, for example, Somebody I knew in high school who goes by Jay. Shout out to fucking Jay. I absolutely adore you. You're amazing. There's no shot in hell you ever see this, but if you do, I love you. You're fucking awesome. And you were my gay awakening and my trans awakening, so I fucking deeply appreciate you. But, uh, whew, hot as balls out here. But Jay, uh, had been open about that, uh, about being a trans man since we were in middle school. Uh, so, from like the 6th grade through to the 12th grade, everyone knew, teachers, uh, facilitators, students, everybody knew, and uh, most people were actually pretty accepting. There were obviously the occasional, go fuck yourself, you tranny bitch, you know, but uh, for the most part, people were accepting, not really, but like fake accepting, you know the type of accepting that people are where they, they just hold back what they're going to say instead of throwing it at you. Which is better than getting it thrown at you, I guess. Uh, but that happened to fuckload. Um, but uh, Jay still hasn't gotten any sort of, like, medical stuff for that. Any, like, uh, I guess key would be what Burr would get. But that hasn't happened after going on eight years of them being trans, them being open about it, them talking to care providers about it and shit. So, you know, if they they try for a decade and nothing happens, I'm not getting shit done if I try. Um, so that's kind of scary. It's kind of spooky that I can't, uh, that I can't do that, you know? Uh, but I guess that's just part of being here. Hopefully we're not stuck in Arkansas too much longer. Uh, it's gotta be a couple years, but hopefully I can I can get what I what I need. Um, 
But yeah, that's 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 my history with being trans. That and dating is so fucking difficult. Right now I'm in a good relationship, apparently, which I did. I have to talk about that. I need to make a video about that. Uh, but currently I'm in a relationship that's fine. But in every relationship I've been in since understanding that about myself, which is all but one of my relationships, actually, it's been so hard. Currently, I don't anymore. I tell my partners that I'm open about it, but, like, up until, like, two years ago, I lied about it and just kept calling myself a dude and all that, which kind of sucked ass, you know? Uh, sorry, my brain keeps shutting off because it's way too fucking hot. But, uh, you know, it's been hard having everybody call me my dead name. It sucks ass having to hide who I am and lie about everything. It really sucks going to work and having every single motherfucker there call you a name that you don't like and refer to you by a gender that you don't like being called, you know? So, I mean, kind of sucks ass. There's a lot of issues with it, and I'm obviously leaving a bunch of stuff out, you know. But, uh, it's a, it's a bit of a lot. It's a bit and a lot. Also, here on YouTube, it's kind of become an issue where anytime I talk about being gay, being trans, being an ally, uh, having friends that are gay and shit, anytime I talk about any of that, I, uh, I'm bombarded with... Most of the time, you guys are super nice. And I, I love that, and I love you guys, and it's fucking amazing, and I appreciate it. But, uh, there's also a bombardment. Luckily, uh, the people get ratioed and or delete their, they get ratioed, they delete their comments, or they, like, I don't know what happens, YouTube gets rid of it or some shit for, like, hate speech? Well, some of it. Uh, but there's a lot of people who are very hateful about it. And not even in, like, a nitpicky way. They're just mean. It's like, if you're religious and you want to be like, hey, I don't agree with this, but love thy neighbor and all that, you know what I'm saying? I don't care. That's fine. If you don't agree with it, you don't agree with it. And I can't make you. And I'm not going to try. But there's no need to be mean about it. There's no need to talk about me going to hell or any of that mean shit. It's very fucked up. But, uh, here on YouTube there's that. And then alongside that, there's another issue with it. My sub count goes down every time I talk about it. Usually by two or three. But every time I talk about being being gay, being trained, being an ally, any of that, my subs go down. Which is hurtful to me because it... Oh damn, my hair looks bad. Uh, it hurts my feelings a lot because it shows that... Fuck, dude, why well, my hair look bad? <laughs> I'm too sweaty, dude. My hair looks terrible. Ooh. Uh -huh. <laughs> but, uh, it hurts. It sucks ass. There's not much I can do to fix it. Um, I just hope that in the future, my community continues to be strong, caring, loving, nurturing, and helpful to those who are in these minorities, whether it be somebody who is queer somebody who is trans, which I guess you could throw under the queer umbrella if you want. Somebody, anybody who is in any of those, like, situations. You you deserve to be loved, and you deserve a, deserve a community that will accept you. And here, that's the thing. I don't care if you're black, I don't care if you're white or Asian, I don't care if you're tall, short, fat, skinny, muscular, I don't care if you're a man, a woman, cis, trans, gender fluid, I don't give a fuck. No, that matters. I don't care if you are religious. I don't care if you're a Christian, Buddhist, you're a Muslim. I don't give a damn. I like people. Well, I have my issues with sensory stuff, but overall I like people. People are an amazing thing, and I love people, and I want people to love each other. And I'm no, like, peacekeeper or nothing, you know. I'm a fucking, I love wrestling, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I'm a fight fan. I like the UFC, I like fucking watching boxing. I, I like, I like violence. But I like violence as a sport, not because of somebody's race, or because of somebody's gender, or because of somebody's religion. That shit's dumb. 
So hopefully my community continues to be a safe one for people. Uh, so shout out to all the people who uh, are in any of these minorities. I love you. You mean the world to me. And I appreciate all you do for my channel, for my growth in the channel, alongside how much you mean to my growth as a person. Like my actual personal growth and who I am. Uh, so thank you. And I love you guys. Uh, tell me tell me about yourselves in the fucking comments, you sticky bitches. I love y'all. Good night.